What is Disease X? How scientists are preparing for the next pandemic. Hello, and welcome back to Cosmotech Chronicles. Today, we have a very important and timely topic to discuss, Disease X. What is Disease X, and how are scientists preparing for the next pandemic? Stick around, as we delve into the details of this mysterious threat and learn what measures are being taken to safeguard our future. Let's start by answering the fundamental question, what is Disease X? Disease X is the somewhat enigmatic term given to an illness caused by a presently unknown but potentially serious microbial threat. The World Health Organization added Disease X to its priority list in 2017 alongside known killers like SARS and Ebola. Diseases like COVID-19, which emerged in 2019, exemplify Disease X. They arise from viruses found in wildlife, which can jump species barriers and infect humans, causing pandemics without prior immunity. So, why is it crucial to study Disease X? According to the WHO, it's essential to enable early cross-cutting research and development preparedness for unknown diseases. The humanitarian crisis sparked by the 2014-2016 Ebola epidemic in West Africa served as a wake-up call. Despite decades of research, there were no products ready to deploy in time to save thousands of lives. The current WHO R&D blueprint includes COVID-19, Ebola, and Disease X, among others, as priority diseases. These efforts aim to accelerate the development of tools and vaccines for these potential threats. So, how's the research for the next pandemic going? It's quite promising. It took just 326 days to develop the first COVID-19 vaccine thanks to preparations made since 2017. Organizations like Tsipi are supporting rapid response vaccine platforms. Efforts are also underway to update international health regulations, establish pandemic prevention funds, and create hubs for pandemic intelligence. Initiatives like the Global Virome Project and Project NextGen are also working diligently to discover and combat potential viral threats. Now, how can we stop the next pandemic before it starts? It's a multi-pronged approach. Invest in surveillance develop robust global surveillance systems. Promote One Health, recognize the interconnectedness of human, animal, and environmental health. Responsible antibiotic use, combat drug-resistant pathogens. Strengthen healthcare systems, build capacity for both pandemic response and routine healthcare. Global cooperation, foster international collaboration. Preparedness plans, develop comprehensive pandemic preparedness plans. But what's most likely to cause the next disease X pandemic? While we can't be certain, six virus families, including coronavirity, are among the most likely culprits due to their characteristics. Airborne transmission. Silent spread by asymptomatic individuals. Lack of efficient medications or vaccines. Now, you might wonder how we can create medical countermeasures without knowing which specific disease will strike next. The answer lies in focusing on the viral families most likely to cause pandemics, 
rather than specific viruses. This adaptable strategy involves funding targeted disease X medical countermeasure programs, which can be modified quickly to target different viruses within the same family. Private-public collaborations play a crucial role in this effort. As scientists warn, disease X represents an inevitable pandemic threat. It's crucial to remember that the next pandemic might be even more lethal and infectious than COVID-19, which took a massive toll on global health. The need for pandemic preparedness cannot be overstated. Investing in research, strengthening health systems, and global collaboration are essential to our collective safety. That's all for today's Cosmotech Chronicles episode on Disease X and how scientists are preparing for the next pandemic. Remember, staying informed and supporting these research efforts is crucial in our battle against future pandemics. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. Stay safe, everyone.